everyone. This episode is about converting a Slipknot mask. Nope, not this one. In a different video. I haven't in, uh, opened the unboxing video yet. So, this is black and white filter, and which I didn't possibly think my phone would record after all, and I did not get a, get a haircut. Okay? So, one thing straight. So, this is the Iowa mass conversion. Well, turn this into this. That's simple. So, what we're going to do, and I'm going to show you some really useful tips. So, allow me to get with you. So, what I got here is this um, chunky yarn that I got here. So, I use this for the dreads. And, but why? But why? I gotta start, look at this. How do we change that? Well, you need some adhesive spray. And just use your fingers, just go like this. And it, and it turns into, well, somewhat like this. That it's less crappy and somewhat dread-like. So yeah, so pretty much there you have it. And for the reason why I'm doing this is because Slipknot out there is actually doing a tribute band, and that was being posted. Like I've been reading some like Google reports and stuff like that of doing a tribute band. Um, they're doing Corey Taylor with the same height, and same mask, and very accurate with the perfect amount of the same height as all the tribute bands. So. I definitely am a huge Slipknot fan and stuff like that, and I definitely want to make a video to celebrate it. So, without further ado, let's get started. So here's what I did. I took some silicone acrylic with, from a caulking gun that was used in house constructions and stuff. So, the eye looks incorrect. I go around with the silicone acrylic to repair, well, not only repair, but make some shapes to make it look like, you know, the, you know, an Iowa Corey Taylor mask. So you see me going over, putting silicone acrylic, and what I think it looks right, until it looks right, and then it should look like this. And it's really hard to see because the silicone acrylic is crystal clear on my camera. So, the dreads. I took some green acrylic and some brown acrylic. The dreads, I actually sprayed adhesive on it, and then actually smeared it, and it looks like this, after it's painted. Very thick, though. Here's what it's like to put on these dreads, and it's starting to look what I think it's starting to look like, and, yeah, I think it went out pretty well, as you can see here. Not me, don't pay attention to me, but yeah, this mask is actually pretty dope. So in this video, I'm actually going over of what Koi Taylor's face actually looks like. I've been researching and stuff like that on Disaster Piece Live. So you can see me opening my mouth. You can see me like pulling the dreads back and leaving my hair out because actually Koi Taylor's hair has that same length in that video as well. So end up having to like um, get that look just the way how I like it. So yeah, looking pretty good. So right here, you can see that it's starting to look good. I didn't take out the stitching because there's nothing wrong with the stitching. So why not leave it on there? And the dreads are starting to get textured. That's why using um, yarn and some spray adhesive, then smearing them, the hairs sticking to each other, it's actually a great combination. And that's my volume 3 mask, but that's going to be in a different video. So this one... This one is actually painted over, which is the finished process of the Disaster Piece mask. And the stitching looks pretty good on there. The scar, the nose. So yeah. So everything's good. Is it convertible? And the answer is yes. It's convertible. So yeah. This mask is my favorite. As long as I'm happy with it, I'm okay. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I am. Until next time, guys. See you later in the next video.